Hey guys, what's happening? Hope you're doing good. I'm Jakob Carlson and I made this channel dedicated to helping guys that struggle with social anxiety and depression. In today's video, we will be talking about three lies that depressed guys believe and that I also used to believe while I was struggling. Now, discovering these three detrimental lies and then internalizing the truth was and is still key for me in having a good mental health. With that being said, let's start off with lie number one. So lie number one is that men can't or shouldn't express weakness. Let's take a quick look at King David, who lived around a thousand years before Christ. Now David was a king, a conqueror, a leader of the Israeli army, who enlarged his country's territory through battle, and as many of us know, as a young man went bravely up against a giant Goliath and killed him. Now, before he would become king, David was basically blacklisted from his own country where he lived in constant hiding in caves and had a company of outlaws. Now, this king, this leader of outlaws, and eventually the nation Israel would say this in his laments. But I am a worm, not a man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax. It has melted within me. Now, if a king, a conqueror, a warrior is able to express his inner turmoil this way, what makes you think that you can? I'll leave you with this question in mind as I go on to line number two. So line number two is that life should feel good. Now, life doesn't and it should not always feel good. Guys spend way too much time avoiding bad feelings, not knowing the price for stuffing their emotion is apathy. Now, apathy is a state of mind when people stop caring about life in general. They stop taking showers, brushing their teeth, or taking care of their health. Now, many men believe the fallacy that their emotions are just weaknesses and that having a weakness is connected to being unattractive. But I found the opposite to be true. When I first started off spending a lot of time alone without distractions, things like sadness, anger and loneliness would surface. Now is this because being alone for a set amount of time is lonely, it's sad or it's frustrating? No, it's because I had unresolved issues which people and substances would cover up. Now I feel mostly at peace and enjoyment alone but that is only because I take the time to acknowledge and process my emotions when they appear. It's about creating a healthy life with yourself, accepting who you are and how you're feeling at this very moment. Line number three is that your problems are too big for the world to handle. Now the world has seen some dark, dark times. You have the millions dead in the Soviet gulags, you have the millions dead in the regime of Mao, and you have the millions dead in the German concentration camps. And then there is your sadness. Somewhere out there, there are someone who have been through something like you have, or worse, and recovered. They might want to give you an advice or two, but as long as you keep everything to yourself and assuming they're not wizards, they won't know. Now, it's fairly common to have some sort of mental health issue, yet it seems even more common to believe that no one cares, no one understands, or no one would be able to handle the truth of how you're feeling. Therefore, yes, understand that you might have a problem, but in the history of the world, there is nothing that can't be talked about. So see a professional therapist, inform your doctor or talk to a priest. These are people that have dedicated their lives to help you live yours. Now, these were the three lies that I wanted to talk about today. And by sharing them with you, I hope you can fast forward in your journey of getting free. Also, if you like the content, hit the like button on the video so that I can know you appreciate it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be making more content like this and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Also, if you had a stressful day, go ahead and watch my cabin trip video. It's mainly just me spending time alone outside in the cabin with some background music and sounds. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.